2021 Fly Rig, an essential tool for every working guitarist out there, in my opinion. What you have basically is a fully functional amp in pedal size format, uh, preamp, power amp, and effects section, delay and reverb. You can run an XLR out or a line out to front of house guy, or you can record directly with it into your interface. However, the DI sound on this thing is not the greatest. Uh, the capsim feature is eh, eh, eh. It's a little thin sounding, a little fizzy, not too much mid-range. Uh, totally fine if you wanted to use it as a backup or uh, in a live situation, throw it out to your sound guy and uh, he'll EQ it, hopefully. And it'll sound just fine coming through the loudspeakers. But there are some other ways that you can use this guy that will get you some really killer tones. And we're going to go through those ways right now. First up, you can use it as a fully functional transistor amp, but turn the cab sim off and run it into a pedal with an IR loader or a virtual cabinet or something like that. To demonstrate this, I'm going to run it into my Boss IR200 using one of the settings in here. Now I'm going to bypass uh, the power amp that is inside this guy because it's also an amp modeler and I'm just going to be using a cab sim. So let's check out how that sounds. great way to use this guy is as a solid state preamp pedal going into a power amp. There's a couple of ways that you can do this. You can run it into the return of your effects loop if your amp has an effects loop. When doing this though, you got to be careful and make sure the level on the fly rig is really low, like around six or seven o'clock, because otherwise it's going to blow your head off because the power amp, there's no master volume on that. It's just going to be full on uh, as soon as you turn the pedal on. Or you can run it into a separate power amp. Uh, to demonstrate this, I'm going to run it into my Synergy Sin 5050, which is an all-tube standalone uh, stereo power amp that you can also run in mono if you choose to. And just remember when using this method to turn the cab sim off on the pedal. really like using the pedal in this way and I've also done some live recording with it so if you'd like to check out how this sounds like within the context of a full band mix you can hear that right now.
going to show you how to use this pedal is to go directly into the front end of an amp like you would any normal stomp box or distortion pedal. Now when you use this method, it's best to dump the tone stack on your amp. You do this by taking all the tone controls, including the gain knob, and turning them all down to about one or two. And then take the mid knob and crank it. And what this is going to do is it's going to stop the tone of the amp from interfering with that of the fly rig. So there you have it. Those are a few great ways that you can use this guy, the Tech 21 Fly Rig. Uh, if you have any other cool or creative ways of how to use this guy, let me know in the comments. And thanks a lot for checking this video out, and I'll see you next time.